How's it going movie fans? The 8th of September 2018 is the 47th birthday of actor Martin Freeman. A Golden Globe nominee, Freeman's acting career began in 1997 and in 2001 he was cast as Tim in the original version of The Office and over the last 15 years I've been happy to watch him develop from a star of British television to an international success after having given great performances on both small and silver screens. Freeman currently has three projects in post-production with Ode to Joy, The Operative and Breeders. Here are the Firewall's top 10 Martin Freeman movies. At number 10 is Love Actually. This romantic comedy intertwines eight different stories with Christmas as a backdrop and love as its main theme. Freeman plays John, a professional body double who gets on really well with his female counterpart during simulated sex scenes. The running time is 135 minutes and Love Actually has the firewall rating of 6.9 out of 10. At number 9 is Cargo. In this thriller, Freeman plays Andy Rose, who alongside his wife and young daughter is trying to survive in a world where a virus has swept across Australia, turning people into zombies, but a mistake forces Andy to abandon his plans and seek out other survivors. The running time is 105 minutes, and Cargo has the firewall rating of 7.1. At number 8 is The World's End. In the third instalment of what is known as the Cornetto Trilogy, Freeman plays Oliver Chamberlain, who is persuaded to participate in a pub crawl with four of his childhood friends, but during the night they end up fighting for the survival of humankind. The running time is 109 minutes, and The World's End has the firewall rating of 7.3. At number 7 is The Hobbit – The Battle of the Five Armies. Moving on to another third instalment, this time it's the Hobbit trilogy, where Freeman plays Bilbo Baggins in all three films. In the final part, all the pieces are in place and a battle will commence to decide the fate of Middle-earth. The running time is 144 minutes and The Hobbit – The Battle of the Five Armies has the firewall rating of 7.5. At number 6 is The Hobbit – The Desolation of Smaug. The second instalment of the trilogy sees Bilbo, Gandalf and the Dwarves continue on their quest to reclaim the gold and land which they believe to be rightfully theirs, but it is being guarded by Smaug, a fierce dragon which the group will have to get past. The running time is 161 minutes, and The Hobbit – The Desolation of Smaug has the firewall rating of 7.9. At number 5 is The Hobbit – An Unexpected Journey. The first instalment of The Hobbit trilogy revolves around reserved hobbit Bilbo Baggins, who goes against his cautious ways when he is recruited by Gandalf to travel across Middle-earth to help a group of dwarves. The running time is 169 minutes, and The Hobbit – An Unexpected Journey has the firewall rating of 8. At number 4 is Black Panther. Having been introduced in Captain America Civil War, it wasn't long before the King of Wakanda was given his own film. In it, T'Challa's position as king is threatened when a figure from his family's past returns. Freeman plays CIA agent Everett K. Ross. The running time is 134 minutes, and Black Panther has the firewall rating of 8.2. At number 3 is Hot Fuzz. When talented police officer Nicholas Angel finds himself reassigned to a quiet English country village, he struggles to convince the residents that his big city ways of policing are the best way as a number of suspicious deaths occur. Freeman makes a cameo as a Met Sergeant. The running time is 121 minutes, and Hot Fuzz has the firewall rating of 8.3. At number 2 is Shaun of the Dead. When the dead start coming back to life to prey on the living, Sean wants to deal with it in a typically British fashion by going to the pub, but the desire to win back his ex-girlfriend will force him to rise to the occasion. Freeman makes a quick appearance as Declan. The running time is 99 minutes, and Sean of the Dead has the firewall rating of 8.4. At number 1 is Captain America Civil War. This star-studded Marvel film was Freeman's debut in the MCU. Following the destruction and loss of civilian life caused by the Avengers missions, they are told to work within certain guidelines or be disbanded. 
but the proposition splits the team in two. The running time is 147 minutes, and Captain America Civil War has the firewall rating of 8.4. Thanks for watching, next week I'll be counting down the files top 10 Tommy Lee Jones movies, don't forget to subscribe for more top 10s and reviews.